Howdy howdy, this is Teapot on Mordrum, and I was exploring around trying to get some equipment set up and found my first diamonds here. As you see, I have no diamonds in my inventory, so hopefully I've got a nice little selection. I do have to be careful, I'm down here at level uh, 6, and there we go, diamonds. Excellent. So I'm just going to dig around a bit just to make sure there's not too much of a lava. I haven't heard much lava going around here, but it would be nice to... There we go. So we have our first four diamonds on the server. Excellent. I'll be back later. Hello again. And if you're wondering what I'm doing out here in the middle of an ocean, bobbing around with... Uh, a piece of a stone fence in my hand. I'm planning on building a network of canal type islands, kind of like the way Venice is. Um, so I'm going to start with some type of resource island here. Um, these uh, these fences that I'm holding are actually going to be the um, the supports. They're going to extend all the way down to the sea floor. So down we go. And of course, I'm in the middle of a deep ocean, so it's going to be quite the ordeal to try and build this up. I'm hoping I can get this up. There we go. Got some coming up. And I'll try my best not to drown. Hopefully. There we go. Not too, too bad. So we're almost at the surface. And what I want to do at the surface is I actually want to get some uh, stairs up. We're going to go ahead and set some stairs up. I'm hoping I'll take care of the starvation problem, or not the starvation problem, but the uh, drowning problem in just a sec. So at this point I should be able to get up here and uh, just kind of make this work. Let's try doing this correctly. So it might be easier if I do this from a swimming position. So. Apologize for the bobbing. Also apologize for the uh, the wonderful rain. It tends to rain a lot on this server. Uh, it seems to be a problem with a lot of multiplayer servers. The more plugins you have, the more rain you get. So rather peculiar. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have this kind of be a ring around. I'm going to have basically a square island. I'm hoping to have it be 16 by 16 or 15 by 15, I mean. I'd like it to be odd. And what I'm going to do is on the other side of this ring, that's going to be the inside. Uh, over here, I'm going to put some half slabs, but not at water level, but just underneath the water level. So just right here. And the whole idea behind this is that you can take a boat and land on that and it won't break your boat. So these will actually be tiny um, uh, docks where you can dock your boats at. So that's where I'm going to be headed with here. So let's just continue some breaking here. Let's see, this is going to be my center. So I'm a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm going to go nine away from the center here. So this is going to end up being 17 by 17. So one, Round we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then what I'm going to do is just kind of square off these corners here. And I will over here as well. Let me just try and recover some of this and recover this one as well. So I'm going to square off these corners, and then what I'm going to do with the rest of this is I'm going to fill this up with land, this 19 by 19 area, which is really going to be 17 by 17 with soil. And this is going to be where I'm going to be uh, planting trees. So this top area is going to be a tree resource.
So here we are coming up on our little island, what we've done so far. I've built two of the platforms down here and getting ready to start a, the third and the fourth. But as I come around, I'll show you what I mean with regards to the dock that we've established. So I thought it would be really nice to have kind of a almost a Vienna type uh, feel to this, the idea that, and of course, once I've got these half slabs, I, I do get on rather nicely onto them. I'm probably going to make this a little bit larger so that we can come to a rest, because if I crash into the wall, it's going to be a problem. So I'm going to make this a little bit larger. Get some half slabs on here. Maybe a 3 by 5 It's a postcard size. And take care of these things here. And it's the only bad thing about building out here in the ocean is that you end up bobbing like an apple. But notice how the water will push you up on here very easily. So let me get my other boat here. Luckily I did bring a spare. I'm going to go ahead and get into the boat, come out a bit, and come about. And I come into there rather nice. So I'm going to go ahead and Try and come in not so fast this time. And there we go. And we are set up rather nicely. So I've got my boat here. I'm going to go ahead and set up a little chest over here because uh, it's nice not to have to worry about doing this. Notice this is my second private chest. So um, some of the plans that I have going on for this area, you can kind of see, and the lapis is just for decoration. Um, so I'm going to continue filling this area in. This top area is going to be where I'm putting the saplings. I'm also going to build the other two supports. So apparently one of the admins, Magic, is going to uh, try and do something rather interesting here. We'll see how that goes. Again, I'm just filling this up with dirt. I'm actually going to be uh, planting some of the trees, some saplings here. So, so that would be one, two, three, so that would be a good spot. One, two, three, that would be a good spot. And I think every three I can put a tree here. And that would put it there. Excellent. There's my first row of trees. We're going to continue working on this. I will let you know if uh, magic comes to visit us. There we go, we finally got all of uh, this soil placed down. So now what I want to do is I want to talk about what's happening on the next level. So I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of the dirt away for now. Uh, for the next level, I'm actually wanting to use these half slabs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to create half slabs on the bottom of each of these three rows. Now, of course, the treacherous part is I'm going to have to Get some air going without drowning, without throwing away all my stuff, because that would be bad. So I'm going to have to deal with drowning, and I'm also going to have to deal with uh, dying. So we will see how this goes. Maybe. Of course, these are half slabs, so they're going to work quite nicely for my purposes, as long as I don't make any mistakes. If I make mistakes, then I'm going to have to duh, to knock them out, and 
underwater breaking speeds, especially with the stone tools that I'm using right now, not so great. So I'll just have to take care of uh, issues with uh, mistakes later when I fill this up with air. But I've got my first tree here. I'm going to go ahead and claim the wood. And I'm going to need these saplings. I'm hoping to get this whole uh, top tier to be uh, trees. And this second tier is actually going to end up being a farming level. And this is the part where I die. By Cruel World. Let's go back home. Let's get another... Uh, let's get another boat and, or, and go out to our place again. Coming back inside of our island here. Lovely. And I will need to get down to that area fairly quick before my items despawn. Before I crash into the building. And it crashed anyway. Wonderful. So let me get a couple of these saplings in the ground real quick. The whole idea is that these are going to be spaced three apart. And I believe over here was where I was uh, getting my stuff. As I mentioned, this is deep ocean, so it's going to be uh, quite fun to deal with stuff. And you know what? That's not where my stuff is. I get to hurry up and try and surface before I die. So let's just rest here for a bit. Luckily, I still have some of the important stuff in here, but all of my cobble, the stuff that I'm doing to actually build my base, is uh, down below at the bottom of the ocean. So let's see, is this it? Nope, that doesn't look like it's it. It definitely looks like it's over there is where things happen, the deeper part. So I've made it, and now back down. Oh, look at all that wonderful XP. And spastic dropping of things. So let's uh, do something before I die again. And this is where I die again. Can you say another boat? Eventually, I'll have uh, enough stuff to build a bit without having to create one. Yeah, I am aware of using the uh, half blocks and other things to, to get some air under there. Just need to actually get there. And hopefully I'll get there before my stuff despawns. Coming back to the island, third time's the charm. 
It's this really deep part that seems to be causing the issue. So if you come over here, you can see where I'm talking about. This is about where I was building it. The issue is once I get down to the level I need to be at, I am already out of breath. I don't have a way to descend quickly. I really need to kind of... set up a place with the torches. Do I have my torches? I do have torches and I do have a block here. Excellent. So now I can at least come down here and get most of my goodies back. Luckily I've got that diamond pick that I made already set up safely ensconced in my base, but I do need to set up my kit as well as I can, so put that in two, put that in three, put that in four, put blocks in five. I really need torches in nine and water in eight, but I'm going to need torches for breathing. So we're going to go ahead and set this up, put that in 5, put that in 6, and we'll do one more torch. We'll set this up as an anchor, because it really needs to be set in some fairly solid stone before I drown. I said before I drown. Now down here at the bottom of the ocean, I've got some of my bread, which I will eventually need to get going. How about we just swim up? Now, of course, the thing I have to be careful of is where I've built, the water is actually flowing downwards. And so I run into the issue of, uh, I'm not going to be able to rescue that stuff. So I do have some bread. I've lost my stone sword, but I'm not that worried about this. This area is lit up well enough. I've got a couple of trees here, so at least this part is working, and I do still have an axe. Excellent. Got some more saplings here. I'd like to get these trees growing as quickly as I can, at least back to the original group of trees that I had. I'm going to go ahead and put some of this in the chest. Um, so there we go. I've got one more pillar that I need to do, and I'm just going to go ahead and put everything else in this chest just because I tend to be a bit accident prone. At least I have been so far. So where is the pillar that I still need to build? I've got both of those pillars, so it's this pillar over here underneath my boat. Yeah, so let's keep going forward. That would be good. Let's try not to drop, die three times in this episode. This one should not be nearly as deep. I'm certainly hoping it's not. There, it's joined, and now all I have to do is not die a third time, maybe? Come on. Oh, that was so close. <laughs> all right. So I've got pillars extending all the way down to the base, and I'm in the process of working on the half slabs. Uh, I'm planning on having half slab walls for this uh, second tier, the tier immediately under where I've got all these trees. And that's actually going to be where I'm growing crops. So remember in my chest I have those seeds. That's where I'm going to be growing the crops. And because it's underwater, it has access to water. So the soil is hydrated and I should be able to, to grow crops unfettered. So I'm going to go ahead and eat a little bit. 
at least until I'm uh, no longer at one bar of health. So at this point, I don't need these anymore. Well, okay, I could continue to stick them up just because they make a nice tab. So basically setting up for the perimeter of my base that I've got here. And while I'm running around, I could light this up a bit more effectively. So one, two, three, four. Three, four, and then one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and I just eyeballed this torch, it really should go here. And that means I'm off with this one over here as well. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And so we'll put these in the middle over here. I'm going to go ahead and get my boat, maybe. Or not. Lovely. Lost case. Oh, well. You can see some of the mistakes that I've made, and I, as I mentioned, I will take care of those mistakes when I'm in the the filling up of this area. But you can kind of see the start that I've got so far. I'm going to go ahead and continue this uh, off camera, building the uh, the second tiers over there. I do need to get a few more uh, cobblestone materials, so I'll be back. So I'm still down here working on trying to get this uh, place cleaned up. I've got uh, one column all the way out to here, so now I'm going to go ahead and uh, start setting this up. The idea is here is I'm trying to get rid of the water underneath and I'm doing that essentially one block at a time. I have a limited supply of dirt here so I really can't do that much. You know some people want to fill in the entire area with dirt and then dig it all out. I don't have the supplies to do that. And there is a little bit of light coming in uh, because I used the half slabs for the walls here. Uh, not very much light, so I will have to put some torches in. Um, what I will probably do is for these areas over here, I'll probably double up these half slabs just to just to give it the a place for me to put torches down. And of course, what I can do is I can. So now these aren't, oops, there's my sword. Now those aren't uh, source blocks. Well, yeah, they will be because I can't get rid of that one. Uh, as you can see up here, the top is breeding trees rather nicely. So I've got a couple of uh, extra shovels here. I'm going to keep doing this off camera. Uh, no need to bother y'all with this work, but uh, I'll show you what I'm doing a little bit later. So I'm just illustrating how I'm doing this. I'm breaking these blocks, which cause the water to fall down here, but not destroy this area. You can see I've got some crops growing in the back, and then I set up a wall, set up a floor, and then I get ready for the next one. I always try and break the bottom block first, because that sets up the water stream going down. Remember, water will always seek out the lowest place it can, and otherwise that happens. But I'm getting pretty low on dirt here, so I'm probably going to be able to finish this row here. And then I uh, have to go back to my cave to get some more. But I am running a little low on soil here, so I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode for today. So once again, this is Teapot. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.